Yes, what's up? This is What's On Jones, back with another MMA topic video. And I gotta say, this was a pretty good show. UFC on Fox was a pretty good show. I actually almost missed this show. You know, this show was a show I wished I would have bought a ticket for because they was here in my hometown in Chicago, Illinois, and my dumb ass didn't buy a ticket to see this show. Damn. But despite the fact that this was a good show, I do recommend that you find a way to see it. No, find a way to see it, man. If you missed it, you missed a pretty good show. Hell, it was free on TV. You should have saw it. So I'm going to start off with the big three, you know, hype fights. I'm going to start off with Anthony Pettis versus Donald Cerrone. This was a pretty good fight, entertaining fight, and it was basically showtime for Anthony Pettis. So Anthony Pettis showed us why he is showtime. He showed us that. And this was my first time really seeing Anthony Pettis fight. So I didn't really see Anthony Pettis fight the WEC. I didn't watch the WEC that much. But this is my first time really seeing the man fight. And from what I've seen, this guy got a lot of talent. This guy is the real deal. This guy is a, you know, a highlight reel, you know, wrecking machine. The guy got talent. You know, he kicked Donald Cerrone. Excuse me, Cerrone, you know, basically in his stomach, like with his knee. I think like part of his knee had caught him in the stomach. And, you know, Donald Cerrone had took that and it hurt him and he couldn't take it. And he just basically collapsed to the ground. And Anthony Pettis, he comes right on top of him, start punching him. And the referee ends the fight, you know, on that note. So Anthony Pettis wins. I don't know if he's going to get the next shot or not. But if he does, you're not going to hear me complain about it. I would love to see him get, you know, the next shot. So moving on from that, congratulations, Anthony Pettis. You are truly showtime. Next fight, we have Rampage Jackson versus Glover Fischera. I believe I said Glover Fischera's name right. Not sure if I'm saying it right, but if someone knows that I'm not saying it right, hey, let me know. But <clears throat> this was a pretty good fight, too. But I was a little disappointed with it because I wanted Rampage Jackson to win. Quentin Rampage Jackson lost. Damn, I love Quentin Rampage Jackson. This man is one of the reasons why I got into MMA. Quentin Rampage Jackson, he's, he's just one of the reasons why I got into MMA. You know, he was just, just one of the reasons. He was, Rampage Jackson is cool. He was always a cool fighter. And, you know, I was hoping that he win, wins this fight. Like, if you're going to leave the UFC, go off. Off wins, you know, he's, he's basically, you know, leaving off losses. You know, I, I, he lost, what, three fights in a row? So, <clears throat> don't like that. But, damn, I was hoping that he wins. But, I'm not going to take anything for Glover Fischera. He clearly won this fight. Um, he clearly earned it. He clearly, you know, you know, he took him down. You could tell, like, the fans didn't like when he was trying to take him down to the ground. And I didn't like it. He just, like... Damn, he, he took him to the ground because maybe Rampage was going to take him down. You know, it was going to knock him out, but that does make sense. Hey, if a guy's going to knock you out, hell, you might as well just, <laughs> just take him down to the ground, right? And hell, Rampage was trying to take him to the ground because Rampage was looking like he was going to. Gas, you know, gas, you no, know, as in tired, losing energy, losing stamina. It looked like he was a little tired himself, so he tried to go for a takedown. He actually did a couple of leg kicks, too, but at the end, you know, it, it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. Um, Glover Fischera wins this fight, and that's Rampage's last, no, last fight. So good luck to Rampage Jackson. <coughs> Excuse me. I am a huge Rampage Jackson fan. Good luck to you and whatever you're going to do. Next, we had... The title fight between John Dotson and Mighty Mouse Johnson. <sighs> pretty good fight. It was a pretty good fight between these guys. Uh, not necessarily a war, but <clears throat> they had you know, a stand-up battle. wasn't necessarily a war, but it was a pretty good you know, stand-up battle. It did go back and forth. I would say that John Dotson won maybe two rounds. And Anthony, uh, no, no, Johnson, not Anthony Johnson, excuse me, Demetrius Johnson, he won, I would say, three rounds. That's the way I had it. That's the way it seemed to me. So three to two, Anthony, damn, why keep saying Anthony? Demetrius, Mighty Mouse Johnson wins. And I, and I wanted him to win it too, because, you know, 
when you don't have a division that is stacked, you don't want the title to be jumping everywhere from this guy to that guy to that person. You know, you want a you know, a significant champion to be dominating. So I was glad that he won, and he was the guy who I wanted to win. He was the guy who I was picking to win. So Demetrius Johnson successfully defended his title again. I believe that's for the second time. So hopefully he can keep on going strong. So this was a pretty good show, and this is what's on Jones. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuces.